channel. So today's video is actually going to be a no makeup makeup look. So yes, this is going to be one of those videos where I use like 20 different products to show you how to get your no makeup makeup look. Um, basically, I just haven't really done anything like this on my channel before. I find that I get a bit carried away doing all these extravagant looks with false lashes and stuff like that. So I thought I'd tone it down a little bit and show you guys a no makeup makeup look. So this is basically just going to be me putting on makeup as naturally as possible and enhancing my natural features. So I'm going to try and just brighten certain areas on my face to make myself look a bit more awake and lively. So yeah, I thought I would do that for you guys today. So if you would like to see how to achieve that, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my face using this Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur Primer. Um, this is basically just a standard primer designed to create just like a flawless base for your foundation to go over. It fills in any fine lines and pores and it's actually one of my favorite primers at the moment. I've not really ever tried much from the Body Shop, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this product. So I mainly focus this around my T-zone because that's where I find I get oily throughout the day and this kind of prevents that oil from coming through. I'm then going in with one of my favorite foundations at the moment and that's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Now this is perfect for um, photos and stuff like that because there's no flashback or anything and it's actually a really popular foundation to use in makeup artists kits and stuff like that. The reason I'm using it today is because it's not full on full coverage foundation. It's actually quite lightweight foundation and you can build it up to be high coverage if that's what you want but you can also keep it as a really lightweight foundation as well. So yeah. That's why I am choosing this one. I use the shade Y255 when I am pale. I've still got a little bit of tan on at the moment, so hopefully this isn't too light for me, but if it is, I'll just bronze up and kind of even it out, hopefully. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it is really, really light to medium coverage. You can still see some of my blemishes coming through on my cheeks here which I really don't mind because this is going to be a no makeup makeup look. I'm not looking for something that's going to conceal and hide every single one of my flaws on my face because I still want to look completely natural. So obviously the foundation has just evened out my skin tone to create kind of like a really um, clean canvas for the rest of the products to go on but I'm not too concerned about covering blemishes or anything like that. So next up I'm going in with my fave and that's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and a little bit around my nose because I'm just a little bit red there at the moment. So this is going to help brighten under the eye and also conceal any of those dark areas like the dark circles and stuff like that. So I do actually bring this up around the inner corner of my eye as well because if I haven't had much sleep the night before, I do tend to get quite dark in that area. And I am bringing that concealer over my eyelids as well, just to conceal any veins or redness that I've got over there. So I'm now going to set my face in place using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Translucent Powder. I'm using this for my entire face to set it. Um, I do get a little bit oily throughout the day, so I like to set my face with a matte powder. And the best thing about this is that it is translucent. So you're not adding any extra coverage or anything like that. You're basically just setting everything in place. So for a no makeup makeup look where you want just a really light coverage, um, this is really, really great. This is honestly one of my favorite powders and it's drugstore. It's like $10 or something like that. And as you guys can see, like I've used a lot of it and this is the second one that I've been through in the past maybe six months. I use it on the daily, it's amazing. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. So now to add a little bit more color back into my face, I'm taking the Models Prefer Mineral Powder Soft Touch. This is the Glow 2 little palette. And the reason I love this is because you've got a bunch of different bronzy shades. So you've got this quite gold shade here, which is a really nice highlighter. And then you've got this shimmery bronze shade here, which I'm going to use a mixture of these two to kind of give my face a little bit more warmth and a little bit more color. And then this shade here is a really nice natural highlight. So I'm going to use all three of these colors. 
I'm going to use the gold and the brown together. I'm going to mix them together and use them to warm up my cheeks and give my cheeks a bit more color. And I'm basically just going to buff these into my cheeks and also bringing it up towards my forehead and my temples as well. And I'm then going back in with my large fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff all of that out so that it's not so cray cray. And now for blush, I'm using my Sigma blush in the color Nymph. Yeah, my God, I don't know how to explain that. That is the color there. I'm tapping off any excess just so that I make sure I don't actually apply too much onto my face. And then doing this creepy little smile. I'm just going to lightly tap that onto my cheeks and then blend it up a little bit. And now going back in with my Models Prefer Mineral Powder Soft Touch Palette. This is where I'm going to use this little highlighting shade and I'm just going to place a little bit of it onto the tops of my cheekbones. And this is just going to give your skin a little bit of radiance and just a really natural glow. Now moving on to brows, I'm using my all time fave. This is the Sigma Medium Brow Powder. I always use this, you guys would know that by now. And basically I'm not doing my brows the same as what I usually would. I'm not filling them out and shaping them to the extent that I usually would. I'm just going to follow my natural shape and I'm just going to kind of fill in any of the sparse areas so that they're not so patchy. Next up is eyes, so I'm actually not doing much with my eyes other than just making them appear a lot more brighter and wide awake. So I'm just going to take this colour here from the Morphe 350 palette, it's a really really neutral like creamy shade. I'm putting it all over my eyelid but also bringing it into my inner corner as well. And then last but not least, I'm taking some mascara. I love using the Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara. I just stick to using the lengthening wand. And the reason I really love this is because it's got a couple of growth hormones in it. So as you're wearing it on your lashes, it's actually encouraging your lashes to grow and become a lot more healthy and full. So yeah, it's a bit of a two in one. I actually really like the formula of the mascara, but obviously it's an advantage that it's growing your lashes as you're wearing it as well. So yeah. And I always curl my lashes before I apply the mascara. My lashes are naturally quite straight, so I find that by curling them first, it just opens up my eyes a little bit more. And I do pop this mascara on my top and bottom lashes as well. And there you can see the difference that the mascara actually makes. So this eye, I believe, looks a lot more open and wider than this eye. So yeah, I basically can't go a day without wearing mascara. Um, I just think it makes such a difference and makes you look so awake. Does anyone else ever always do this? I always, whenever I'm applying mascara, always. So frustrating. And for lips today, I'm actually keeping them very, very, very natural and I'm not putting any color on them at all. All I'm going to put on is a little bit of Carmex lip gloss. And this is the finished look. I do believe it is a very natural look. It's still very pretty and it just makes you look really, really fresh and awake. Um, it'd be great for those of you who are allowed to wear a little bit of makeup to school because it's not super duper obvious, but it does still freshen up your face a little bit for school. And yeah, maybe something good for the workplace if you don't want to overdo it in the workplace or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.